I'm Kevin Cameron, and I'm going to harp once more on the problem of stress concentration in mechanical design. For various reasons, in the early days of pressed together crankshafts, it was very popular to use a stepped crank pin. This has two diameters. The end pieces are pressed into the flywheel, and the bearing and the connecting rod run on the center part. This crank pin is not stepped, it's all one diameter. Harley-Davidson has adopted this type of crank pin. Stepped crank pin bad, as follows. Broken. Where did the failure occur? It occurred in the radius where the small part joined the large part. And believe me, people who designed these stepped crank pins made very sure that this radius was as big as they could make it and as gentle because they wanted to avoid the stress concentration that they knew would be there. But Mother Nature doesn't put up with bad design. She punishes us with occurrences like this. This used to happen all the time with TD2s and with H1Rs, both of which used stepped crank pins. This is one from an H1R, as you can tell by the oil hole. Just as in the case of the braking cylinder studs and the headless cylinder nuts, this is another case of a sudden change in cross-section bringing about a stress concentration at the point of transition, from which radiated all these little tooth cracks which you see here. And finally the crank pin broke in half, the engine stopped, and the rider walked back to the paddock. <laughs>